In our culture of um, what you might call insta-fluence, where you can become famous, in an age where people seem to be obsessed with things like building their personal brands, making a name, what I'd like to attempt to reclaim the sacred language of calling. What does it mean to be called by God? If you own it, and you recognize that you've been genuinely set apart by God, chosen by God, gifted by God, and called by Him to make a difference, that puts a little weight on your day to day. If God is calling me, He's chosen me for something special, what if I miss my calling, I'm so confused? What is it specifically, if I'm called by God, what am I called to do? Calling is about who you are before what you do. I love the words of the Apostle Paul in 2 Timothy 1.9, for God saved us and called us to live a holy life. God called you to live a holy life. In other words, calling is as much about who you're becoming as it is about what you are doing. You're called to be holy. The Greek word is hagios. It means to be set apart. It means to be different. In other words, as you follow Jesus, you don't look like the world. You don't act like the world. You don't think like the world because you've been set apart by God, called by Jesus, infused with the power of the Spirit of God to live a holy life. In other words, if I'm called to be preacher and yet I'm not living a holy life, I am not fulfilling my calling. Because calling isn't about something important you do in the future. Calling is about your faithfulness to Jesus today. You are set apart by God. You're called by God. The size of your assignment, the very thing in that moment that God might be calling you to do, inviting you to do, may not feel important in the moment, but could be more significant than you could ever imagine. Just like a little boy in the New Testament who took his little Lunchable and gave it to Jesus. And Jesus took something that seemed small and insignificant and multiplied it to feed 5,000 men and, and a bunch of women and children as well. It's so much more about the who than it is about the do.